Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. What can you bring to the computer-based or CBT PE exam? For the PE CBT exams, the testing center will provide pencils, papers, erasers, and earplugs, but there are specific items you must bring along as well as items you shouldn't. In this video, I will explain which items are essential and which items you should not bring. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and the passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. As I mentioned, for all CBT exams, the testing center will provide pencils, papers, erasers, and earplugs. All you need to bring is your appointment confirmation letter, your ID, your calculator, and any other necessary personal belongings like a sweater or sweatshirt, should it be cold in the exam room, or eyeglasses if needed. Let's look at each one of these items in detail. Appointment confirmation letter. The first and last name on your appointment confirmation letter and your ID must match. To help speed up the process while checking in, bring a printed copy of your appointment confirmation letter. Your ID. You must present one of the following physical photo IDs upon arrival at the testing center. Digital IDs will not be accepted. An ID issued by a government entity in the country in which you are testing or an international travel passport in Roman characters from your country of citizenship, or a U.S. military ID. IDs must be current and include an expiration date, your name, and a date of birth, a recognizable photo, and your signature. Valid U.S. military IDs that do not include a signature will be accepted. Student IDs will not be accepted. Calculator. You are allowed to bring one NCWS approved calculator without its cover into the testing room. You may store spare calculators and covers with your personal belongings. The following calculator models are the only ones acceptable for use during the 2022 exams. Casio, all FX115 and FX991 models. Any Casio calculator must have FX115 or FX991 in its model name. Hewlett Packard, the HP 33S and HP 35S models, but no others. Texas Instruments, all TI 30X and 36X models. Any TI calculator must have TI 30X or TI 36X in its model name. You can also check out a previous video we did here on our channel where we reviewed all of these calculators to give you a better idea of which one might work best for you. We will link to that video in the description of this video here. Warm clothing and eyeglasses. The temperature in the exam room is unpredictable. Sometimes it's hot, other times it's cold. So because of that, it's best to dress in layers. Sometimes they will not allow you to take your sweater off during the exam. If you take it into the exam room, it has to stay on. If this is a concern for you, you should ask the proctor about their policy before entering the room. If you wear eyeglasses, you are permitted to take them into the testing room without the case. Items not permitted in the testing room include, but are not limited to, cell phones, handheld computers or personal digital assistants, PDAs, or any other electronic devices, fitness trackers, pagers, watches, wallets, purses, hats, and other head coverings unless they qualify as religious apparel. Bags, coats, books, notes, pens, pencils, erasers, food, and beverages. You must store all belongings not permitted in the testing room 
in designated areas outside the testing room. Most test centers have small lockers. You must turn off all electronic devices before storing them inside a locker. The test center is not responsible for lost, stolen, or misplaced personal items. There you have it. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered and we'll publish weekly. So please be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you want me to cover or a specific problem that you need solved. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam. Thank you.